Hello, welcome to video number 200. I want to thank everybody for uh, sticking with me this long to uh, look at these 200 videos. And this is also, I want to thank people for, we have over 500 subscribers. And I want to thank you all. Uh, this issue, uh, this uh, video, we're, we're doing something special because uh, we're looking at the LA Bantam uh, paperbacks. A uh, very rare series. So we're going to start off. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and we're going to talk about a little bit about the L.A. Bantams. Um, they came out in Los Angeles, Bantam Books of Los Angeles, in 1939-40-41, uh, somewhere in that period. Uh, they have no relation to Bantam Books, which was published by, uh, in New York, which started in 1945 by Ian Valentine. Uh, Bantam Books of Los Angeles, or as collectors call them, the L.A. Bantams, were 28 books in the series. And they, most of them are rather boring, non-pictorial covers. But then again, there's some really good uh, editions that have pictorial covers. And there's also variants on, on the colors of the covers in the uh, on the ones that have the text covers and non-pictorial. So I'll show you what, what I mean when we get through them. Um, these uh, 28 in the series, uh, and there's nine uh, variants that have pictorial covers, and then other variants also. Uh, I'm missing about three or four of them, but I have a lot of them, so I'm going to be able to show you. These are very, these are quite rare. All of them are rare. The whole set is, is, is rare. Very hard to find, and um, we're going to take a look at them now. Uh, the, the, there's, the first one is Red Threads by Rex Stout. It's number A1 from 1941. And uh, this is a, a one-off series. It's 15 cents. Marked. And uh, famous Rex Stout uh, story uh, novel. And um, that's, uh, that's a one-shot. And then the, the regular L.A. Bantam book series starts with number one, Spanish Cape Mystery by Ellery Queen. And number two, Little Known Facts About Well-Known People by Dale Carnegie. There are a lot of books in this series that are uh, non-fiction, uh, books about uh, self-help, self-improvement, things like that, subjects that I'm not really that particularly uh, interested in. But on the other hand, then you have other books. So you have a Tarzan books, a book. You have a, a Rex Stout book. You have a, The Shadow and other uh, very, very, very collectible uh, books in this, in this series. So uh, book number three is Your Health Questions by Mor Morris Fishbells. Number five, number four I don't have. Number five is Jokes and Wisecracks. And you can see they're all the same style of, of cover uh, design. Uh, they have the Bantam LA Rooster, which is their trademark. Uh, the back covers are all basically the same. Bantam books and then a little something about the book. The books are numbered at the bottom here and at the bottom of the spine. And uh, they come in various colors and then some of the books have various um, uh, variants in, in, in color design. So you'll have some that will, where there'll be a, uh, a pink, uh, the box will be pink, and then another one, the box will be blue or different, but for the same book. So uh, book number, number six, or number seven is uh, The Voice of Experience, famous radio series. Very nice, very bright, sharp copy, beautiful. Number eight is Favorite Poems. Number nine, you have, uh, it's Enter the G-Men by William Engel. And uh, there's, this is what I was explaining about the, the variants. There's two of the variants. So you have Enter the G-Men with the green and the blue cover. Um, number 10 is 1,000 Facts Worth Knowing, 
again, a nonfiction book. Number 11 I don't have. It's uh, How to Find a Husband. Uh, that one I don't have. Uh, number 12 is uh, The World's Greatest Love, The Great Love Affairs. Number 13 is Children's Favorite Stories. Number 14, again, we have a situation with the variants. Uh, and there may be other variants besides the ones I'm showing you because I don't have all of the books. I'm missing three or four of them, and uh, there probably are variants of some of the books that I'm showing you. But uh, here's The Lone Ranger and the Secret of Thunder Mountain by Fran Stryker. This is book number 14, and again, variant, the blue and the light. So it's a light color here, and the blue and the blue here. Number... 15 is Poems of Passion by Wilcox. Number 15 is, uh, 16 is Grimm's Fairy Tales. Number 17, I'm Missing. Number 18 is Love on the Run by Fred McIsaac. It's a mystery crime novel. And uh, number 19 is The Tower of Flame, Jarugu of the Lost Islands by Rex Beach. And that's a uh, lost world, uh, kind of a science fiction fantasy book. So I'm going to move these all up a little bit. And I'm going to start another row with number 20, um, The Story of Rebellious and Voltaire by Henrik William Van Loon. Uh, one of the, the key books in the series, um, number 21, The Shadow and the Voice of Murder, and here's the two of them. So you have the uh, non-illustrated cover and the illustrated cover version of the Shadow book. Number 22 is The Green Death by Brett Hudson, Brett Hud Hutton, and it's a story of military intelligence, a spy, spy novel set in World War II. Uh, and again, we have the variants with the different colors. And uh, also the Green Death pictorial. So here you have the Green Death, two of the... Uh, Two of the variants on the uh, non-pictorial and then the pictorial of the Green Death. Next one is uh, another big book in the series, number 23, Tarzan and a F Forbidden City by Edgar Rice Burroughs. And uh, here's a box that was made and painted by Lucille. And um, it recreates the cover of the pictorial L.A. Bantam Tarzan, which is right there. And uh, that's, this one took me a long time to find, to get. Uh, number 24 is uh, Humorous Anecdotes and Funny Stories. And on that one, there's a pictorial, non-pictorial, and a pictorial. Number 25 is Nobody Heard the Shot by Donald Char Chidley, Chidsey, a uh, Alec West Detective's novel, and again, variants in the, uh, in the color. Number 26 is uh, another good one, um, Mystery of the Blue Geranium by Agatha Christie. And that one also has the variant cover, yellow and the, I guess that's a blue, 
and uh, it may even have a pictorial, I'm not sure. Um, I don't have all the pictorials, I'm missing a few of them. Um, next one is uh, number 27, Danger Mansion by Philip Wiley. And in that, we have the non-pictorial and the pictorial cover. The last one is um, book number 28, Strangers in Flight by Mignon G. Everhart, and it is a crime novel. And we have the two versions of the non-pictorial and the pictorial cover. The L.A. Bantams, these L.A. Bantams were, uh, for a long time it was supposed that they were uh, made available for sale in the Los Angeles area and the California West Coast uh, in um, vending machines in bus stations and, uh, and airports. But uh, Jim Fitzpatrick, uh, in an article in Paperback Parade number 77, did an extensive research on this. And it appears that uh, that was uh, that was an error that uh, had been um, promulgated in the paperback um, histories and stuff, all going back to uh, Pia Schroeder's book, Paperbacks USA, where it was mentioned that the books were on for sale in uh, in vending machines. Nobody has ever seen a uh, L.A. Bantam vending machine or or heard of one. Uh, there was a rumor that uh, they, that they existed, but it's nothing's ever come to light on them. And in fact, there's some uh, evidence inside the books saying that the books were sold at local stores. So it appears that the uh, rumor that there was they were sold in the, uh, through paperback vending machines is not true. Uh, now there were companies did have paperback vending machines, Avon Books. Pocket books um, did experiment for a while with the uh, vending machines, big vending machines like cigarette machines, that type of that size of, of uh, machine, which would have uh, various books on display, and that they would sell them, uh, you know, for a quarter. You put the quarter in, twist the knob, pull the knob out, and the, and the book would pop out. Um, uh, those were pocket books. Did have a machine that they experimented with, as did Avon, but. Uh, as far as uh, Bantam Books of Los Angeles, uh, the L.A. Bantams, no. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty well documented, pretty sure now that uh, they were not um, sold through vending machines and that there were no vending machines. Nobody has ever seen one and it's never come to light. So um, they were sold in stores in the uh, Los Angeles and uh, uh, Southern California and West Coast area. Uh, for uh, for a year or two, um, 1939, 40, 41 in that era, and then uh, they went out of business. Uh, five years later, um, Ian Ballantyne would start Bantam Books in New York, and uh, in 1945, and uh, that was a separate, totally separate company. So here's for the 200th issue or episode of uh, this YouTube channel. I'm showing you some really, really rare stuff that uh, a lot of people haven't seen. Um, the books aren't, uh, cover art isn't striking, as striking as you think, uh, as you'd like it to be maybe. And uh, of course, uh, the non-pictorial covers are kind of drab and boring a little bit. And the books have aged. You know, they're 60-something they're years old now. But... Um, they are, they are rare. All of them are rare. The nonfiction titles, and they're all rare. So it's uh, just, uh, this is like a thank you for, uh, for sticking with me for 200 episodes. And I also want to thank you all for subscribing. We have over 500 subscribers. And uh, again, share with everybody and uh, give us a thumbs up and a like. And thanks for looking. See you next time.